Good morning, David here with the Bottle Palm, scientifically known as Hyphorbi longicaulis. It is a native to Round Island in the Mascarene Island chain east of Madagascar, country and island of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. This is a really unique palm. Uh, once rare, it's become more commonly uh, cultivated and sold. Uh, collectors, it's highly sought after by collectors. It's an extremely slow growing palm, less than a foot a year, maybe six to eight inches, and usually only attains about 12 feet in max height, so it's kind of semi-dwarf to dwarf. Uh, they do really good in containers, only cold hardy to about 30 degrees, so it's a uh, zone 10A palm, meaning uh, no temperatures below 30 degrees and uh, make it variable uh, frost and freeze damage. But in northern Florida, where we are here, definitely recommend it's planted in a container or in an area where it can be protected, say the south side of a house. However, uh, it's a really beautiful palm. Let me show you the overlapping leaflets uh, on either side of the midrib. Uh, it almost looks like a louver, kind of like a louver door. Really, really interesting and it has a, uh, has a crown shaft. On this one it's a little difficult to tell as the old leaf bases remain, but you can see the stripes here where the old leaves were cut off, the bases came off. These are called ring scars. Once this gets a little older and gets cleaned off, uh, you'll see more of the crown shaft, but you can see that really unique bowing and then the bottleneck, hence the name bottle palm. Very good collector's palm. Uh, I have one. This is probably 50% of its max height. It grows to about 12 feet and it only attains a six to eight fronds. Nice to have in a collection. It has very nice color. And another unique uh, characteristic about this is it has this little extra piece here on top of the spear leaf. This is a kind of like an anti deterrence device growing in its natural habitat. It uses it to push through the understory of forest so it doesn't uh, damage its own leaf. It's a little extra kind of like a wall, a hard tissue of wall that pushes up through the forest. So many tropical palms that grow in the understory or in the forest have that little unique feature. Just like any other palm, uh, fertilize the palm three to four times a year, particularly four times a year in a longer growing season such as Central South Florida and the tropics. In Florida, planted in the ground, uh, th this bottle palm can acquire a, mag a magnesium, particularly a potassium deficiency where you see yellow uh, flecking, translucent flecking just because our soils are potassium deficient. So always make sure you give it a good uh, Lesco A212 with keyseritis, the preferred fertilizer, and you can also give it uh, a little dose of potassium sulfate and magnesium sulfate should the deficiency arise. Uh, Southern Ag Palm Nutritional, I've demonstrated that in my previous video, uh, liquid fertilizer, that'll correct the problem. And also, it's okay for the roots to be a little exposed, but um, this has just been from, from being hand watered a little eroded, but I just wanted to kind of go over the roots. They're not larger. Uh, than the size of diameter of a magic marker or pencil. So these can be planted really close to pavers, driveways, uh, in small contained areas because of their small stature, small, short, slow rate of growth and small root system. But anyhow, if, if I was to transplant this, I definitely, you definitely want the soil right up to the bottom of the trunk. Uh, just keep those roots from drying out. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Give us a thumbs up and like us on all social media platforms. Have a nice day. Thank you.